Let's play pickleball. Side out. Welcome, everybody. We've got uh, the ladies back on court. Dave Fleming here with Adam Stone. Zero, zero, and uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll get into the battle and the ladies here in just a second. So you've got the team in Waters and Parento who lost for the first time in Austin against a very one zero one. good team on the other side. We'll get your thoughts on the underdogs in a minute. Watch it. Point. At a right in Megan Design. Yes, I, I think that they really do have a great blend of athleticism and length. One. That length creates power and it creates defensive chops with get, being able to get a lot of balls back. So uh, they bring a lot to the table from a physical perspective. Let's hope that they can Three, lock zero, it one. in mentally and get this great team and uh, get over the hump. They have not they've had five tries and they are 0 for those five tries. So uh, this is a dangerous team that been Three, playing zero, well. They won on the Carvana PPA tour last year. doubles right there what a battle and that last shot for Megan Dazon from a full extension Zero, three, able one. to get the ball down low with a quality counter attack nice point from everyone just Second sneaky serve. with the two -way. yeah she is and it's it's all about all the spots the pace and the spin you know a variety of players have that but Anna Lee can hit Zero, three, she has two. those two and she can hit it anywhere Wait, she can aim? Yeah, <laughs> correct. <Side out. laughs> Dave, some uh, some players out there just whacking away. They're, they're, it's it's all with a purpose from Annalie Waters and, and Catherine Parento. Uh, so much Three, fun to one. watch them play. And there you see that absurd record, just one blemish. That one is going to catch serve. a breeze and sail deep, so nice pressure there. 3-0-2. Point. And interestingly enough, we don't usually play on Monday, so Anna Lee and Catherine are undefeated two. Tuesday through Sunday. <laughs> Rain pushed the final to Monday, and that's when they lost. Point. And there's that aggressive court Time positioning receiver, from Annalie five, zero, Waters. No. It's for some players, it's the power and the whip and the leverage that you can get but i think it's the combination of two with these two as some of their defensive chops from the mid court so tough to put Time the ball in. away against Five, these zero, ladies zero. they really have a lot of tools at their disposal easy lead for etta wright as Anna Lee waters really attacking that ball crushing a forehand and zero, five, getting one. a little too much of it When she has, I am going to be a monster in her mind, she starts doing stuff like that. Well, that was perfection. One, five, yes. one. Incredibly athletic, smooth jump of the corner of the kitchen. Look at that, get your protractor out. That is beautiful. My goodness, it hits right on the corner of the kitchen line. Phenomenal Two, five, angle, one. and she didn't just guide it over there. She crushed it. Sorry, Megan. That's a tough break off the Second net serve. tape, but man, at a right in a phenomenal offensive position, and Catherine Parento just drops Two, five, it right in the kitchen, neutralizing that offense to perfection.
Side out. Yeah, heavy roll from Catherine Parento on that forehand side. Lots Five, two, of one. pace and spin for a soft shot. Point. Six, two, one. Point. That cannot happen back to back against this team. Yeah. We showed you they've lost once. Yeah, it can barely happen Seven, once. Two, and, and back to back, as you said, Dave, is, is not okay. Point. Big swat from Etta. And when the scoreboard gets that way, these two have got to fight the urge to try and do too much too early. And they're down one. six. No way the wind will carry that wide, but what Second a battle. Serve. Etta Wright just firing. And Etta thought it was her turn to serve, but unfortunately the uh, team on the near end was on a one. They get another crack at it. I mean, what a ridiculous inside-out backhand roll. I mean, Megan Dazan was not even out of position and had to lunge for that ball. Point. Boy, and now the Game mistakes, point. they're not even going to call it. They are going to call a time. Well, Megan, Megan was Time-out calling receiver. timeout. Yes, that was it, so. The official ball of the PPA Tour. It's crazy. 10 2 2. Couldn't quite get the feet reset to get there. Two ten one. Just Second too serve. much smoke. Yeah. Uh, quality defensive chops are not going to help help any player uh, when an angle is struck that well from like Annalie Waters did two, right ten, there. Two. If they would have lost that point, that being Etta and Megan, that would have been heartbreaking. Perfect shots throughout it, so they do get the three. She Side missed out. it. But the movement is good. Yes, it is. And man, did she Game destroy point. that one-handed backhand Ten, three, up one. at the shoulder. Got an off. A nice forehand point. look. And Game oh, man, three. that's Time a tough way to end it. Ugly. Two. Welcome back, everybody. Anna Lee Waters and Catherine zero, zero, Parento two. in cruise control. That cannot happen again, or they will be out of here quickly. We'll design and write. Point. Yeah, what a phenomenal. Uh, uh, just combination of complimentary pickleball roll on the forehand One, zero, side two. from Kath, or sorry, Anna Lee Waters and Catherine Parento poaching like a champ. Side Tried out. it again. Couldn't come up with it that time though. Zero one one. Second serve. Yeah, just missed on the serve. The zero, freebie one, factory needs to be closed right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we'll just say Ed Wright had some phenomenal backspin yes. on that, but both players, Dazon and Wright, had some awesome one, one, offense two. in that point. Most of it neutralized till that last ball. Point. 
That's Side a quality out. first volley. I like that forehand drive of Megan Dazan with Edda Wright pinching the middle. One, one, Just one, first one. volley too clean. Just off balance yes. at a right. Uh, she had a decent look at the two-handed backhand. Couldn't quite get her Two, feet one, one, underneath one. her. Point. And just overextending. I love what Megan Dazan did in that point. Just reaching in the kitchen a bit too far, catching the Three, tape. One, and one. It's sailing wide. Second serve. And uh, Catherine Parento trying to work in a cross-court attack, but the two-handed backhand of Megan Dazan there and ready. 3-1-2. There's nice Side power. Out. Catherine Parento in a decent spot. A nice read on the angle, but just too much up for Megan Dazan. Hits it as hard one, as three, the dudes one. does uh, Megan. Couple of ladies from Utah here trying to find their best stuff. Point. And it's just wicked quick power. Yes, it is. And a nice spot to the right shoulder Two, three, as one. Annalie Waters, a hair late clearing her body to crack that forehand counter. Second serve. Edda Wright not able to get back into position. She was looking for offense out of the air. Once two, it hit three, the two. court, makes it tough. Man, that's, that out. is heartbreaking right there. Perfect shake and bake. Yeah, it was. It was executed to perfection, but unfortunately three, for the two, ladies one. on the near end, a ball is coming back almost every time, at least once or twice Point. after great offense. Another missed return here. 4 2 1. Point. Megan Time out is receiver. About to march Five, two, over one. to her box. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. So young. Yes. 5-2-1. Wise beyond her years for sure. Second serve. What a timeout. Amazing timeout. I have some fun stats coming in about Five, two, two tournaments two. with how how effective timeouts really are. Teaser. Side out. And maybe it just makes AL lose her mind too. That ball's about <laughs> an inch off the ground. Tried to speed it up. Two five one. Point. All right and. Probably the least clean couple of points we've seen yes. from the one seed in this match. Let's see if Dazan and Wright can uh, get a couple more. Okay, and yes, uh, a roll that is, misses by several inches and a really nice forehand reset for Megan Dazan in the heart. One. Megan Dazan in the heart of that point. It's go time. Man. Point. And Time that out receiver. is quite five, five, an answer. He wants, and five, we're about five, to get one. some more right here. And 
what a beautiful forehand up the line from Catherine Parento at half pace to get at a right off balance. Five, five, two. Out. And that was a high roll, uh, not the shot that she was looking for on that yes. particular five, third. Five, yeah, there's the high roller in Vegas, and you do not want that to be your theme for your thirds. Yeah. Just Second <laughs> absolute point force trauma there. So good. And some of these counter attacks, they're not just five, five, two. hit back well, they're to a proper spot also. And this is when Design and Wright have had a mess. When they've tried to unwind the stack, they get caught, they get running into trouble, the returns become a problem. They're better with Etta on the left, they know it, but uh, sometimes they get stubborn. They are gonna switch and keep switching. But this, it, they, they do not have this figured out, and they've got to because points just Seven, start five, creeping into it, especially against this team. Point. Timeout receiver, 8-5-2. You can't just keep them back or hit a time crisp in. volley every time eight, five, when you're late getting to the kitchen line. So they just uh, said, all right, this is not going our way. We're going to keep Megan, who is very capable on the left. This isn't like a player like Vivian David, who's unbelievable on the right, who doesn't play on the left hardly ever. This is, it's just that they're better when Etta is in full monster mode. Five, eight, one. And you see now they will go back to that. And that slap forehand is something else. Yeah, and uh, Catherine Printo caught her once or twice, and this time nice adjustment with the Six, short eight, straight one, power one. for Megan Dazon. thing of beauty. Yeah, it certainly was. Just spread out wide enough to force the pop-up from Edda Wright and Catherine Parenta with the one-hander down into the court nicely. Point. Hey, despite all of the issues with unwinding the stack and some missed returns, Seven, eight, it is there for the taking. 7-8-2. There's no way, Side Catherine, out. that is absolute bulletproof vest with the Selkirk paddle right there. Yeah, two big two-handers from Megan Dazon, weathered. Point. Yeah, from the, from the yeah. middle of the court, somewhat low, at Annalee Waters, that's a lot of different factors to overcome on the speed up from design. Nine, seven, and moving away from the kitchen, just disaster. And we are at match point now. As match point. Again, you're picking a poison and it's not a good poison when you usually say that. Ten, they have seven, to decide one, one. do they want to switch or not. They're going to stay again. And that will do it, and Anna Lee Waters and Catherine Parento just keep... Well, guys, they came back a lot stronger in game two. They obviously switched up, talked about that game plan. How did you also level up in response? 
So we knew after the first game, Athena and Lee, they told us on the bench to, you know, be careful. I mean, they're not going to give up. So you have to be ready. Stay aggressive. Stay aggressive. That was really the key today. All right, guys, looking ahead to tomorrow, obviously your last time out, you lost in the final. I hate to bring it up, but what did you guys talk about and have conversations about afterwards so that you came back stronger this tournament? Yeah, I think the main thing was after we lost, I mean, we both felt like we didn't play our best that day. Um, and everybody was like, oh, they're done. You know, they're done. And we were like, what? We lost one match. <laughs> like, calm down. <laughs> um, but I feel like Catherine and I, we got together, which we hadn't done in a long time. She came over to the East Coast. And we really worked on the things that we went back, watched the match, and we're like, okay, this is what they were doing. This is what we need to fix. And we took a couple days to fix those things. And I think the main thing was, you know, being aggressive. Catherine and I are usually very aggressive, but I think the last couple tournaments, like I said in the past, we got a little too dinky. And this tournament, our main goal was to be aggressive. So I'm really glad we were able to show that that was the game plan against such a good team. I mean, Megan and Edo, we've had battles against them. Um, they're an amazing team, definitely top three for sure. So, you know, it can go any, any way, honestly, on any day on a pickleball court. So we were like, well, let's try to keep it in our hands as much as possible by being aggressive. And now a question for both of you. What shot does your partner hit that you absolutely love? The two-hander. I would say like the one that she's running to the corner and I don't know how she gets the angle, but she finds it every single time. She hits like a perfect winning, I mean, dink. It's amazing. Annalie? Anything on defense as far as Catherine goes. Any shot that she gets when she's on defense, I want. Catherine's amazing. She's so athletic uh, on the defense. So I honestly feel like if you're on offense and Catherine's on defense, Catherine's in a better position. <laughs> That's awesome, girls. Congratulations. You're headed to Championship Sunday. Dave, back over to you.